Hello, my name is here, and today I'm gonna talk about how to get a microblazing permanent makeup license in Connecticut. Subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any new information. Microblazing is a form of tattooing. That's why in Connecticut, tattoo license is needed in order to perform microblazing permanent makeup services. Tattoo license in Connecticut is issued only by Connecticut State Department of Public Health. Firstly, I recommend to visit the website of Department of Public Health in order to read all available information about licensing, so you will understand uh, if this industry is right for you. I suggest to start from taking bloodborne pathogen training and uh, basic aid certification course from Red Cross, which can be done either online or in person, wherever works better for you. Both courses are relatively quick and easy to do, and both of them will be a great start to understand the safety associated with permanent makeup procedures. Once you are done with bloodborne pathogens and basic aid classes, I recommend to take a permanent makeup and microblading course in order to gain portfolio and learn how to do procedures. I will explain why I recommend to take course um, um, at this moment, because later you would have to find a place where you will do 2,000 hours for your um, license. Uh, so you would have to find a licensed tattoo artist who will uh, be responsible for you during the next two years. Uh, usually if you have portfolio and if you have uh, knowledge certification, you will look more serious about getting uh, a spot and uh, you will look serious about uh, your profession. That's why I recommend to do a uh, uh, course at this moment. But of course, if you will be able to find uh, a place for apprenticeship without portfolio and certification, you can do this first and then already you can uh, do class. In our school, we are offering various courses and workshops, but for beginners, I recommend to start from 100 hours fundamental permanent makeup and microblading course, which covers all procedures, eyebrows, lips, and eyeliner, which increases your chances to become independent professional in this field, as you will be able to build your portfolio and confidence. Once you are certified in permanent makeup, you can start searching for the place for your apprenticeship. We are offering apprenticeship which leads to license for the best students. But with good portfolio and certification, you will be able to find a spot in your, in your local tattoo shops as well. You would have to work under a licensed tattoo artist for the next 2,000 hours. 100 hours may be counted toward uh, those hours as well from your course. Once you found a tattoo artist who is able to supervise you, she or he will need to sign a verification form and notarize it. This form you will use as a proof that you are working with licensed tattoo artist. All documents including bloodborne pathogen, basic aid certificates and the verification form you will submit via online application and at this point you will receive student tattoo license, which will be valid for the next two years. How to start an application? You will need to start an application on the website uh, of Department of Health and I'm going to attach uh, active link under this video. Choose training permits and click apply online. There are currently no fees for this type of license. Be sure to apply for tattoo technician training permit at this point. Usually this uh, permit is issued very quickly. After you received this permit, you can work with your clients for the next two years, gaining 2000 hours. Once you have them, apply for tattoo technician license, which will grant you opportunity to work with your apprentices. Remember that license is not a substitute of certificate from your training, and the certificate is not a substitute of license. In order to work in permanent makeup industry, you must have both of them. Certification from our school is recognized in all states and by all insurances. I hope that information was useful and helped you with the understanding of a process. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe our channel so you won't miss new tutorials and license information. Follow us on uh, social media and feel free to ask any questions and comments.